Now, many of us are already wearing masks, but will those face coverings block out any of the pollution from the ozone and wildfire smoke? Fox 13 Spencer Joseph joins us live from Intermountain Medical Center in Murray after speaking with a pulmonologist about that very question. Spencer. Yeah, and if we're talking about just your simple, simple surgical mask that we kind of all had, the answer is not really. It might block a little bit, but it won't block too much. A better N95 mask will do a lot more, but N95 masks can be a little bit hard to get your hands on. Plus, most of the time to have them really work, you need to get them fitted to your face. But there's a really big reason that I didn't know about before today to wear a mask just like this outside on bad air quality days. Take a look. Air quality in the valley was a little better Sunday than it has been, but Utahns have faced a red sunset over the last few days as air quality has drifted into dangerous levels because of different kinds of air particulate. Um, so one of them is the PM 2.5s and that's kind of the one where when you look out and it's hazy and you see the smoke, um, that's coming from the wildfire particulates. Dr. Denitsa Blagev is a pulmonologist at Intermountain Medical Center. I have two major kinds of masks that I can talk about. So one of them is kind of the regular surgical mask, and that's what we're all wearing. Those masks we're all wearing to protect ourselves from COVID-19 might do a little, but not a whole lot. Those particles are just too small. As for better N95 masks, they will work for trapping the particulates and reducing the particulate air pollution exposure, and they will prevent you from getting COVID exposure as well. So. But the big reason to wear any and all masks on bad air quality days, the particles in the air actually increase your ability to contract coronavirus and other illnesses because your lungs are working hard because of the dirty air. It makes it easier for a virus or an infection, sort of the natural defenses are a little bit down already. And Those with underlying health conditions know this very well. Especially COPD and asthma. They know that, you know, like the weekend air quality that we had is really enough to flare their lung disease. And so as the air continues to be affected from California wildfires, it's just a new reason to make sure you keep wearing that mask. Wear a surgical mask. It may might offer a little bit of air pollution protection, but um, it'll protect us from spreading COVID to each other, which we're all more susceptible to during air pollution. She also told me today, really the best way to combat this, just to stay home. And especially if you're in those sensitive groups like I am, make sure if you are going outside, you wear that mask, you wear any mask you can, and make sure you stay inside and safe as much as possible. At Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.